Load a comma bracket n and close bracket is an assembly language instruction that loads register a with an 8-bit binary pattern that is stored in a specific memory location. The address of the data is part of the machine code instruction. For example, let's assume we have the instruction load a comma bracket ec00h close bracket and we're dealing with a type of addressing called absolute addressing. For this assembly language instruction, we can see that the opcode and the data are in different parts of the computer's memory, as shown by these arrows. This area of the computer's memory, these three bytes, are the machine code representation of this assembly language instruction here. When you look at the assembly language instruction, you will see that it has a H in this particular area. Now that is just to say that we're dealing in hexadecimal. When we look at the instruction itself, we can see that this is the opcode and this is the operand. So we can see that this data has this address. If we take a close look at the operand for the instruction, which I've highlighted here, you can see that it in fact, if you look closely, is the same as this address here. It's just that it's been saved across two consecutive memory locations, where this is the 00, zero bit of the address and this is the EC bit of the address. But when they're combined together, it makes the address EC00. Now it's stored in two consecutive memory locations as what we describe as low byte, high byte, where the low byte of the address appears after the opcode, and then the next location has the high byte of the address. So the operand is the address of the data stored across two consecutive memory locations low byte, high byte. We will now look at the fetch decode execute cycle for this particular machine code instruction and I think it is important that you ensure that you've seen the previous videos in this playlist on the fetch decode execute cycle because the description here is going to be relatively speedy with respect to the various steps which were covered in a little bit more detail in the previous videos in the playlist. At the start of the fetch the program counter transfers its contents to the memory address register and then the PC is incremented. Pulses go out on the control lines and an address code goes out on the address bus. The appropriate location is selected and the opcode is brought via the data bus and the buffer register to the instruction register. The decoder then finds out what the opcode means and then the control unit takes over and goes through the sequence of steps that ensure that the execute part for this particular machine code instruction is performed. The program counter transfers its contents to the memory address register and is incremented. The pulses and the pattern on the address bus go out. They select this location and the 00, zero which is part of the operand is brought in and put in the buffer register where it stays for the moment. We then see that the program counter does the same thing again and we can see that the same pulse but a different address goes out on the address bus selects the next location and brings in the EC. The pattern now goes to the memory address register, goes out with the appropriate pulses, selects this address, gets the 2B, brings that into the buffer register and then transfers it to the accumulator and that completes the execute cycle. So we've just seen the fetch decode execute cycle. Here we can now see the original assembly language instruction and we can see the opcode and the operand where the operand is split in two low byte high byte. Run through quickly this is the fetch decode execute cycle. 